now let's see how we can write the state space made, um, representation for the Gaussian Dow iteration. Uh, sorry, the success, success um, relaxation method. So SR method. This is based on Gaussian Dow iteration. Okay. So you have the Gaussian Dow. Let's write the Gaussian Dow first, which is xk plus one. That is equals to the inverse v minus l x k plus one minus u x k. So this is the Gaussian Dow iteration. Okay, this is the Gaussian Dow iteration. And uh, what is the SR method? That means we take some portion from the old value and some portion from the new value, right? So we have x k plus one. This is for the SR. This is for the Gaussian Dow. And we have xk plus one is equals to one minus omega xk. So some portion from the old value plus some portion times the new value. Okay. So the new value is from the Gaussian Dow iteration. That means that is x uh, omega x k plus 1, and this is from Gaussian Dow. So we can rewrite this equation, which is 1 minus omega x k plus omega times the inverse v minus l x k plus 1 minus u x k. Okay. So we just uh, use the Gaussian Dow x k plus 1 um equations to represent here uh to substitute here then what we can do is x k plus one times d the diagonal matrices will be equals to d times x k one minus omega d times k x k plus omega D, D inverse will be identity matrices. So it will be B minus L X K plus one minus U X K. Okay. So this is the new uh, form of the SR method. Then uh, what we can do, we can put all the X K plus one into the um, left side. Okay. So D plus omega L X K plus one will be equals to one minus omega D X K plus omega B minus omega U X K. We just open this paralysis and um, we put this Term the omega L X K plus one into the left side. So there is a plus sign here. We just rearrange these equations. Then we can rewrite this as the iteration matrices. X K plus one will be equals to D plus omega L inverse. Okay. Times one minus omega D X K plus omega B minus omega U X K. Okay. So we just uh, put D plus omega L inverse. This part will be identity matrices. Operate on X K plus one will be itself. Then this part will be the inverse. Then let's open the uh, parallelism. X K plus one will be equal to D plus omega L inverse times one minus omega D X K minus omega U X K plus D plus omega L inverse omega B. Okay. So we just put this omega B part outside. Then this is the iteration 
matrices for the SR method. For the SR method. Okay, the SR. And we can highlight this. This is for the SR method. We can also do the arrow analysis for the SR, like what we did for the Zacobi and the gauss Seidel. So the arrow of SR, you can write arrow, which is the current calculated viral as compared to the true value, will be equals to D plus omega L inverse times one minus omega V minus omega U arrow of K, okay? Uh, and this arrow is basically the arrow of the previous old value compared to the true value. This is the current uh, arrow as compared to the true value. And this is the matrices. You can analysis the eigenvalue so that you can see whether this SR master is converged faster or not. And the, the eigenvalue will decide the stability of the uh, SR master as well. So this is the eigenvalue analysis part, which can see the convergence as well as the stability. Okay. And we will make an MATLAB examples for this SR method as well. <clears throat> 